Thank you, Mr. President. Would Senator Kauth yield to a question? Senator Kauth, will you yield to a question? Sure. Thank you, Senator Kauth. Have you been following the conversation around this amendment yet? Did you listen to Senator Ben Hansen's introduction? I did. Are you going to support this amendment? I'm deciding that right now. You might want to know that Cargill did sign that letter opposing your anti-trans legislation. And so when you're thinking about where to spend your dollars, as you said, lawmakers should be aware of who is opposing your legislation so that they can choose to spend their money elsewhere. Um, Cargill, that would benefit from AM 1714, is one of those businesses. What would you uh, respond to that? That I'll decide based on probably talking with Ben and Senator Clements. That sounds good. Thank you so much, Senator Kyle. You're very welcome. I'm so welcome. Um, I'm a Blair Bear. I'm a Blair girl. I come from Blair, Nebraska. I'm a sixth generation Blairite. And I am a little bit hesitant to support special legislation that is sort of introduced to help one company. But I'm also interested in the argument that Senator Wayne was making around, well, look at the budget. It's full of special legislation. Look at the things we do for ethanol industry. That's full of special legislation. How do we grow the economy in Nebraska ever over the last 150 years without special legislation to support the businesses that support our communities that we have? Um, if we want Blair to keep growing, if we want families to keep moving to Blair, if we want there to keep being jobs at great companies like Cargill that moved in there when I was a kid, um, we have to support those businesses. And so I'm still thinking about what I'm going to do about this amendment as well. But we have to think, I mean, like, get real, guys. We have to think about the big picture of when we're supporting businesses and when we're not. When Cargill comes up and says, we need special legislation so we can bring more water into the city and do our, make our products and do our industry and run our company, Senator Ban Hansen jumps up and says, yes, sir. Senator Kauth is probably going to vote for it, too. She's getting some advice from different people about, you know, what to do about my bullying right now. But be consistent. Think about what it is you're doing. Because then when that same company writes a letter to lawmakers in Nebraska saying, we are deeply concerned by the bills being introduced in state houses across the country that single out LGBTQ individuals, specifically targeting transgender youth, for exclusion or different treatment. Laws that would affect access to medical care for transgender people, parental rights, society, social and family services, student sports, access to public facilities such as restrooms, unnecessarily and uncharitably single out already marginalized groups for additional disadvantage. They seek to put the authority of state government behind discrimination and promote mistreatment of a targeted population. Senator Kauth and Senator Hansen, this is from Cargill. This is from the company that this amendment seeks to help. I want you to think about that as the introducer of an amendment on LB 574 and as the primary introducer of 574, um, whether you are making votes that are in the best interest of towns like Blair, whether you are making votes that are in the interest of growing our businesses in Nebraska in a way that I wholeheartedly and enthusiastically and deeply, passionately support. I want everybody to want to live in Nebraska. I do not agree with people like Senator Kauth, who have One said, minute. if you support trans rights, maybe Nebraska isn't right for you. I do not agree with Senator Kathleen Kauth, who has said, if we ban health care for transgender kids, that will keep the type of people out of Nebraska that we don't want to even have here. That is the wrong attitude. If I support AM 1714, it's because I support growing business. It's because I support enriching communities like Blair, Nebraska, who need more population, who need more economic growth, and who need more people fighting for the population that lives there. And that includes LGBTQ people. You can't pick and choose which workers, which employees, what their kids and their families are like. But that is what you are trying to do with LB 574. Thank you, Mr. President.